So how do you turn off an entire country's lights from your laptop? Well, it's not exactly what you'd expect. See, most people think hackers are these hooded figures frantically typing code to hack the mainframe. But the Ukraine attack? It started with something far more mundane, a simple email. In October 2015, employees at three Ukrainian power companies received what appeared to be a standard everyday email with a Word document attached. Maybe it was about meeting notes, quarterly reports, or whatever things get emailed around power companies. But here's the thing about humans. We're really, really bad at cybersecurity. We're busy, we're trusting, and we're trained to open work documents without thinking twice about it. That's exactly what the hackers were counting on. Someone clicked it, and when it opened, the document did something sneaky. Hidden inside is what's called a malicious macro. Basically, a tiny program disguised as a document feature. The moment someone opened the file, this macro quietly executed in the background, downloading and installing the Black Energy malware. And just like that, the Black Energy malware was inside their network. But this wasn't your garden variety ransomware just looking for Bitcoin. This was state-sponsored, military-grade software with a single purpose, to learn everything about how Ukrainian power grids function. For months, these hackers just watched. They studied which computers controlled which substations, how the engineers operated the systems, and even what software they used. They moved from computer to computer, collecting credentials, mapping the network, and then, on December 23rd, game time. They made their move. You would expect that the hackers use some sophisticated super virus, but they just logged in like normal employees. At 3.35 p.m., engineers at the power stations watched in horror as their computer mice started moving by themselves. Cursors dancing across screens, clicking through control panels, opening circuit breakers one by one. It was like watching a ghost take control of your computer, except this ghost was turning off the power for a quarter million people. Spooky. One technician actually grabbed his phone and started filming his screen, thinking maybe he could prove what was happening. But he had no idea he was recording cybersecurity history. 